Hello and welcome to Epic Battle Cry. This is the place where we cut through the crap to bring the real deal in the gaming industry. Today it is Thursday. Wow, this week September is September 11, 2014. It is. It's just this is going crazy. Uh, and we have a question. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, I'm still going through I, it. I, I hope I that is the biggest news on September 11th. I, I, I hope that the Apple news is is the biggest thing that happens that day. I, I, I hope that uh, that nothing yeah. nothing <laughs> more nefarious occurs on <laughs> September definitely. 11th. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, we uh, we do have a question from one Martin, and uh, he is at Marty McDevious. Nice. And uh, it comes to us and says, what do you think about Steam? Mm. Um, I don't think it's going to overtake uh, gas anymore. <laughs> I think Steam Engine's kind of had its day. So. Yeah. All right. Next week, we'll talk. No, I'm just <laughs> uh, What do you we'll think about Steam? Uh, nuclear Fusion. <laughs> and the massive influx on games, uh, of both new and old, to the Steam front page. Mm-hmm. DK, you want to start us off there? How do you feel about the old Steam? Well, you know, I'm I am not a big PC player. I don't, you know, uh, I mostly play on consoles. Have done that for a while. Yeah. Um, I think the Steam service though has really, really done a good job. Uh, the you know the emphasis now is uh, you can tell it's more of a marketplace than anything else than a uh, than a showcase. It, I think I think it's both things, obviously, um, but you know the emphasis. Now with kind of the revamp steam and what he's what he's addressing here with all the you know new games revamp games or, or you know rather old games uh, that are on discount, I feel like Steam is a place that really feeds your exposure, not necessarily just addiction, but your exposure. <laughs> Mm-hmm. to games what are you saying in a good way so because i mean you know just looking at the front page i mean there's a i mean they go out of their way to say hey there's almost five thousand games under 10 bucks and uh, almost three thousand under five bucks and you know when you've got 4.9 million people playing and th- this you're tapping into this gigantic um portal of content and you never know what you're going to find they've done a great job with their steam sales and 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 becoming an event where like you could get just ridiculously good prices on things um i think they've done a fantastic job as a service i i I think that it is getting pretty crowded that you know they they might need to do a little bit more to step up um, the ability to isolate things that they want to highlight for for a variety of reasons or have some different um, you know areas of the site or the service that that really call to action based on your preferences. Um, but as someone who doesn't use it on a day to day basis, I can't say that maybe maybe they don't do some of that in the back end. I don't know, but um, just as an outsider kind of looking in on what they've got going here, I think they've built up a tremendously powerful portfolio of content to distribute. They've made themselves exceptionally viable in terms of a, a business model, but also just as a place to go uh, to access great content, to discover new or old content that you might be interested in. So I, I have a very good, um, I have a very good outlook and perception of, of what Steam is as a service. Very cool, uh, Brent. I know you're a, a pretty huge proponent of Steam. I am. I, I, I'm a big. You still are. I'm a big you, fan. How, yeah. How, how do you feel about it as a whole? You know, I think that uh, I think that Steam is, or it has grown to the point uh, where you go on there and there is just like kind of so much coming at you that um, that it, it it can be a bit overwhelming or intimidating or whatever. And so I, I think that the the question that Martin raises uh, is a valid one. And in my opinion. Uh, Steam could could probably actually stand to look at uh, look at the iOS App Store, uh, maybe the Google Play Store. I, I don't I don't buy apps there, so I, I can't. I assume that it, it, I'm assuming that it's kind of it's, a parody with with it's, the yeah, iOS it's not App terribly Store. different. It, 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 yeah. But I think that they could. Um, I think that they could do themselves a lot of good by by maybe looking at that and, and and taking a couple of ideas, but also doing some some things kind of the Steam way and and maybe also integrating some social aspects that would basically make it easier for people to find the kinds of games that uh, that they like to play. And so you know, I'm thinking about things as simple as uh, you know having like a really really great uh, review system, which you know they they do have. Uh, that working to a degree right now. I think that um, you know one thing that they do already that's 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 nice is um, is you know where they show you like you know which of your friends 
uh, you know, has the game, or like you know, which of your friends wants the game based on their wish list, and that that can definitely be good. You know, if you know that like, oh, you know, this person has like really similar taste to mine. They have this game. It might be something I'm interested in. But I, I would go like one further with it, and I would uh, like if you could have like a group of friends that you could sort of cordon off, and you can say, okay, I want this. Like these certain friends here, I want them to be able to add stuff directly to my wish list because I trust their I trust their opinion yeah. so much, their taste so much that you know they can add things directly to my to my Steam wish list. So th- those are those are things that I think that Steam could do. I mean, you know, basically, you know, Steam growing into a marketplace and having as much content as it does, you know, the problem that people always complain about is just you know how do you find the stuff that you want, and so that's what they need to be focused yeah. on. They need to be focused on not just one strategy, but a lot of different strategies to help people find uh, the content that that they want that they they and they don't know that they want it. But you know you need to help them find out that oh this sure. is a game I want to play. And so I think that they need to do a bunch of different things to to try to uh, to try to bring that about for every customer they have as successfully sure. as possible. I uh, I I. I I'm a lot more uh, kind of in, in, in touch with sort of what you're saying there, Brent. I, the, the things I have, I, I've always been very focused on the, the the aesthetics and kind of the usability of things. Like, that's always a big deal to me. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the functionality, like the core functionality, because a, a lot of the things that, that you just mentioned, we've talked about, you, you can kind of do to, to, you know, varying degrees, but they're just, they're not... I don't think that they're necessarily laid out. They're not made easily to understand. Yeah. They're not. They're not very readily uh, available. You know, easily available. The thing that I think I feel like Steam still has a little bit of that sort of. It's designed still for like a little bit of like a a a, a hardcore PC gamer right. kind of feel. It's still a little rough around the edges. I find it, frankly, personally, I find it very dull to look at. Like, you know, it's just that big gray box with a couple of windows of color in it, you right. know? Like, to me, it could use a serious visual overhaul and some tweaks to the usability, like like how you're sort of suggesting um, making it maybe slightly, maybe not necessarily it doesn't have to look, but maybe function a little bit more like, say, something like the App Store where it's very clear, like, you know, here's your you know, here's your here's your games. You can break that down into you know current or retro or free and pay well, or you, whatever. You, like you, you can set it up. You, should, you ought to be able to create your own playlist that you know like group exactly. games however right. you want to and yeah. It, and yeah, that's the thing. Like the the core functionality. Like it's it's almost like I sort of feel like all it needs is a new coat of paint to a certain degree and just a couple of tweaks along the lines. Mm-hmm. And I actually think that it could go from being frankly one of the best experiences it's so it's so easy to get things on steam yeah. it works i mean it works so well like there really is not much of a downside to it i do think though that it that it would it would gain a lot more casual gamer interest if they could just kind of put a new coat of paint on yeah. it. I just I think that that would bring in maybe some people that are more comfortable for, with like, the console yeah, a portal you know what i'm saying like a landing page for Something like that, you know what I'm saying? That well, yeah, you know, that's the thing. They've got that. It's just that landing page is the home page, which is cluttered with fucking everything. You know, it's like they don't. That's the thing. Like they have the ability to do pretty much all the things we've suggested, and in some cases, I think already do those things. They're just buried under you know layers of, of stuff. Like it, I feel like you should be able to customize it, tweak it. I feel like it should be able to to be laid out better. And I guarantee you, some people will hear that and say like, "Oh no, I, I don't have any problem with it." Well, that's that's cool. But if you like it you like it if you don't like it you can't do much about it like you know it's it's not it's not made to sort of tweak to your liking right, uh, right. at least in from from what i would like from it and i gotta be i just i do sort of think that it's i think it's bland i think you go to like the playstation store you go to you know uh, microsoft store on the xbox they've got big you know like practically full screen images um you know lots of color a lot you know sometimes they're you know it's just i don't know just it's 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 more exciting. It gets you more excited. Whereas it, it, it feels very just, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's as good as it needs to be to, to be functional on steam. Right. I just, I feel like it's just that real, you know, kind of entry level, you know, design to it. I feel like it could, it could definitely be punched up a little, at least you know, I feel like for, for my taste, I feel like they probably, oh, well, and they, you know, they have done some graphic tweaks, you know, just recently, uh, you know, yeah, they, but they've nah, changed things a little bit. I mean, they haven't, they haven't done a fundamental change like what you're talking about, but I can't yeah, help but wonder if they aren't, you know, maybe kind of moving in that direction of being a little bit more friendly to a wider audience, you know, because they want to, they want to have, success, well, that's that. what I was going to say. They want to have success with like the steam, big picture mode, steam picture, machines, yeah. you know? And, and so I think in terms of like trying to, 
trying to you know kind of draw more people into the PC gaming crowd. Uh, I, I I suspect that you know maybe some of those things could happen. You know maybe not yeah. maybe not like a, a complete fa- facelift that you know completely changes the look of it, but perhaps customization where you can you know tailor it to suit your own your own taste and everything. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. It's an interesting. Good question, though. And I, I do think, uh, I mean, you know, it, uh, Steam is obviously very, very popular, and a lot of people do like it. So they're obviously doing a lot of things very right. Getting steamy. Uh, so it's most don't think. Mostly, you know, <laughs> offering up really kick ass games uh, at, at pretty, pretty, pr- pretty good nothing. prices. That, yeah. that goes a long way. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> that kind of gets your foot in the door. Yeah, doesn't it, though? Uh, but anyway, Martin, great question. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, as always, send your questions to us at the old twitter.com slash uh, at Epic Battleax. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, I guess you know how to do that. Just at Epic Battleax. And uh, over at youtube.com slash Epic Battleax. Check us out over there. Make sure you join us. And uh, you know, definitely send your questions out to us. We love to get them. And it is the only way that we can make this show day to day. So we kind of need them. So <laughs> yeah. Keep that, Thanks in advance keep that for in submitting them. Exactly. Anyway, that is going to do it for Thursday. We really appreciate it. We've got Friday coming up tomorrow, end of the week. Uh, should be exciting. We're going to hopefully get a little more into details on uh, Brent. Uh, Daniel's actually going to write down the details of the uh, iPhone announcement yep. um, tomorrow. Yep. So that should be exciting. No. Uh, so, uh, no. That's not <laughs> All right. Anyway. But it will be Friday. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>